Pogroms, Safut, or in international English, Pogroms, not a chance. This is how the South African Jewish Board of Deputies reacted on Twitter after warnings that the Jewish genocide is looming in the country. South Africa's transformation into a democracy without excessive bloodshed gave the country international status in areas like peace brokering. Recent comments by the country's Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, Mahiti Nkwana Mashibani, that South Africa is not having ministerial contact with Israel until there is progress in the Israel-Palestinian peace process resulted in an Israeli Knesset member, Avigdor Lieberman, urging Jews to leave South Africa. Anybody that understands the South African context will know that our anti-Semitism levels are phenomenally low. Um, and not just numerically, but also in terms of the type of anti-Semitism that we have in this country. We really don't see that same kind of violent anti-Semitism that Jewish communities in Europe, and even most recently, unfortunately, in Australia, experience. It's not every country where a chalabek can happen in a street, that a whole street can be cordoned off to, uh, for a a community to enjoy their religious um, practices. Um, this is a country where men feel very free to wear kippot. It is a country where um, our shrita and our brit milah is not being threatened. Um, the Jewish life in this country is very strong and very active and I think that we should not fixate on these comments by somebody in Israel who hasn't really been briefed fully. The South African Jewish Board of Deputies expressed its disappointment and surprise with Minister Nkwana Mashibani's statements, especially since the South African government has such a good track record with conflict resolution. Particularly at this time where there is being such, there's such inroads being made in terms of the peace process and also in terms of the release of Palestinian prisoners from Israel. And, and it's such a pity that, this is, that we couldn't use this time to engage better. The Pretoria cabinet has since said there is no ban on government officials visiting Israel. We maintain healthy, strong, cordial relations with Israel. Uh, we've got a big uh, Jewish community in South Africa uh, which uh, interacts with uh, the president and the minister quite regularly, uh, represented by the Jewish Board of Deputies. Uh, and all these matters are discussed every time there's an interaction between the president, the minister and the Jewish Board of Deputies. And so we don't believe uh, there's any um, uh, untoward feelings or tensions or anything that uh, should cause anybody to worry and press alarm bells. What she was articulating is in reality what has been in place for a number of years, given uh, the complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict that has been raging for many decades. And South Africa, like uh, the international community, is committed to play its part and its role uh, in helping the two uh, to uh, resolve uh, the differences between them within the context of uh, the two-state solution. We're pleased at the result of the, the recent cabinet statement from the South African government, which emphasized that, um, that uh, Jews should feel comfortable in South Africa. And the truth is, is my brothers and sisters who live here do feel comfortable. And, um, and I feel comfortable here and believe that there's great opportunity for Israelis and for Jews to interact with our friends here in South Africa. The country is also preparing itself for next year's general election. Populist statements during election times are not uncommon, but it's unlikely that it will result in increased anti-Semitism. Uh, they're regarded as good citizens, they're uh, major players in professional areas in business and are highly regarded and uh, there is on the other hand, the election will have a very much a domestic focus. The question of corruption in the country, the question of uh, economic policy and uh, that type of thing, which are very much domestically focused rather than foreign policy issues like Israel. But how do regular South African Jewish citizens feel? I feel to be more a victim of crime because there's poverty in the country, there's a lack of education to the majority. And 
It's not so serious as it sounds. Uh, it's just a lot of politics and, and people wanting to sway their energies to uh, maybe for something to happen. But I usually just go past these things. I, I goes into one ear and comes out the other. In Cape Town we actually had a, a campaign in the paper, uh, One City, Many Cultures, and Jewish people were quite amazed when they discovered more about Islam that there was so much in common. So I'm not really worried about genocide. Like I said, I would be more worried about being a woman in this country where we still have some of the highest rape figures in the world. The verdict seems to be that the Israel-South African relationship is good despite differences on the Palestinian issue. And although hate crimes are taking place in South Africa, members of the Jewish community consider it more likely to become victims of general crime than genocide. I'm Marisa de Klerk in Pretoria for JN1.